What's up, Joel? Hey. You hear they took Mary Ann? What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? You better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. You got your ways. Think it's a bit strange that they're having us do their smuggling? Marlene wanted to do it herself. We weren't their first choice. Or the second, for that matter. She's lost a lot of men. Beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, let's just hope there's someone alive to pay us. Someone will be around. It's been ripped apart. The body's pretty fresh. Is that bad? Yeah, it might be. Let's not stick around. Tess, how are you holding up? Just a bit winded. Look this way. This will get us to the roof. Well, how about you, Kate? Are you okay? It's a fine okay. Are you still breathing? Do small panicked breaths count? Yeah, they count. Right. Then I'm okay. Did you play this before? No. But I had a friend that knew everything about this game. Apparently, there's this character called Angel Knives who'd... Uh, what was it? She'd punch a hole through your stomach before kicking your head off. <laughs> uh, I was never a big fan of these things. I wish I could play it. You know how to play this? Yeah, pretty badly, yeah. I always wanted to learn. Hey, Bobby Fisher! Don't touch anything on that board! Bobby, what? Hey, just let it go. Hey, you got a second? Yeah? I... I just want to say I'm sorry about Tess. That's it. I, I won't bring it up again. Ellie, you don't need to worry about me. We should go check on Bill. Okay. Bill, I uh, found this in there, and I, uh, I figured you should have it. Well, that's how you feel. Well, fuck you too, Frank. <sighs> Fucking idiot. You ready to go? You want to be okay with this? Yeah, not a problem. You're doing a good job. I figured you should know that. I won't let you down with this. Fucking hunters. See, this could have been us. Man, that is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. What happened here? Your fellow hunters do this? Cute. And no, my money's on the military. Why would they mow down all these people? You can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? And dead people don't get infected. You sacrifice the few to save the many. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. A checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. 
This place has been abandoned for a while now. Give us our rations. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Most times they just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. I thought you had plenty of food in your time. Well, we did. Some just chose not to eat it. Why the hell not? For looks? That's stupid. They took the easy way out, huh? Well, it ain't easy. For many, it was better than letting a clicker or a hunter do it for them. Trust me, it ain't easy. It's a, uh, a backdrop. People would take their pictures in front of it. Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> okay, then. Something on your mind, Ellie? <sighs> I wasn't trying to disobey you back there. You were taking a really long time, and I thought... maybe he's gotten into trouble. Look, it don't matter what you thought. I need you to listen to me. I do. It's just that... I Whatever, Joel. Whoa, Nelly. Harsh punishment. See, it ain't that much different than what the military does back in Boston. I guess not. Here, I found this. That'll do. I stayed at a place like this, back in the Boston QZ. Military preparatory school. <laughs> yeah, nice way of saying orphanage. I wonder what happened to all these kids. Well, this place has been out for a good stretch. They ain't kids no more. Meaning they're either hunters trying to kill us, or they're dead. Or they got away. But you don't believe that. I believe in getting out of this city. Come on. Hey, there's another one. These posters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. You did? Does he totally gut her by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a, it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it, then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused, all right? All right. I was just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Shoot on sight. Lots of friendly people lived here. 
First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. Aw, doggies. Yeah, you're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. What is this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel. That's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm-mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> Told you so. Boosh! I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. It was luck. <clears throat> All right, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Fuck! Horrible. All right. It's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. <laughs> yeah, okay. a day where kids can just be kids again. Let's go. Teamwork. <laughs> That's too small. Leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. <sighs> All right. I'm sorry. Let's get the Tommies. The turbines went south. We have electricity, Joe. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Uh, can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? And we're doing it. You're new around here. Yeah, Joel and Tommy's brother. War travels quickly around these parts. Apparently. I kind of see the resemblance. I see. It's a compliment. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. You too. <laughs> that was fun. That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports, Hell yeah. Let's go. Hey, look. Fireflies. Come on. Oh, I see it. This is good. For sign of fireflies. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. 
don't get it. it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. Jeez. Looks like someone already fought those things and lost. Oh, Lord. Been looking for these boys. <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my six string. You know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds great. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not... It's fine. Well, we could use that ladder. Here we go. Ellie? Ellie? What? The ladder. Come on. Right. Slow down, kiddo. <laughs> We 
We don't have to do this. You know that, right? <sighs> What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. I can't be for nothing. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. <sighs> well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> Thank you. 